just when you thought the banking sector's PR crisis couldn't get any worse, along comes a revelation that banking giant HSBC has helped thousands of wealthy clients evade hundreds of millions of pounds worth of tax. A whistleblower in Switzerland worked with a team of investigative journalists from news outlets like The Guardian and Panorama in 2010 to expose the extent to which the bank helped the rich conceal assets to dodge taxes, leaking a huge trove of files on secret Swiss accounts run by the bank. HSBC now faces criminal investigations in the US, France, Belgium and Argentina, but not in the UK. And this despite the fact the bank is based in this country and the leak included details of almost 7,000 British clients. Unfortunately in Britain, we're far too polite about this. White collar crime is a crime. Yet somehow here we regard it as, well, it's not really a proper crime. No one's really been hurt. Yes, someone has been hurt. Us, as taxpayers, we have not had the money in that we need to be able to invest in our community and provide the necessary support. So therefore, there is a crime. In America, if you commit a white collar crime, a black and white car turns up with some gentlemen in uniform and you put on a pair of handcuffs and you get carted away. Because this isn't just rich people avoiding tax. This is also potentially terrorists. ISIS is a very sophisticated financial organization in terms of drug money as well. All of those elements. A furious blame game is underway between the Tories and Labour. Senior politicians in HM Revenue and Customs are accused of failing to act over claims. But David Cameron has defended his government's record on tackling tax evasion and his decision in 2010 to appoint former HSBC boss Stephen Green to his government as a trade minister. Well, Stephen Green was an excellent trade minister. He did a good job. Uh, but I'd also add that no government has done more than this one to crack down on tax evasion and aggressive tax avoidance. I put it absolutely at the head of my G8 agenda to make sure there's more tax transparency, that big companies pay their taxes properly and that we raise money from people previously uh, evading and avoiding taxes and we'll go on doing that as a government.